First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, you may have heard over the weekend it was absolutely horrible for a lot of folks out in the Midwest. Floodwaters continuing to rise in Missouri where two people have died. More than 100 others were rescued because of the flooding you're looking at here. Wow. Flood levels in that state have surpassed historic levels, leaving homes surrounded and soccer fields flooded. You can see that all over the place here. Boy, National Guard has been activated. The governor says thousands of troops are ready to assist with the efforts to fight these floods. And of course, I'm sure you heard that uh, tornadoes were a real issue over the weekend as well. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Missouri right now where things are looking better. We can zoom right down into that state and let you know, uh, yeah, they're in much better shape than they were earlier. Uh, they're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do, but of course the floodwaters are going to hang in there for a while, but at least it's not raining dramatically like it was a little bit earlier. Storm Tracker, a little bit closer to home. We're looking at a lot of clouds out there, and in the St. Lawrence Valley, we've got just uh, bits and pieces of rain. The farther north you go from the St. Lawrence Valley, the wetter it's going to be. So for you guys say in Cornwall, Ontario, and then definitely points to the north of there, it's going to be wetter than in Messina. And then as you do, come on down to the south. Main event is still off to the west. Look at this line of very powerful thunderstorms right here. That's what's going to be heading our way. Now, it looks like we're not dealing with strong storms by the time they get here. There are severe thunderstorm uh, watches and warnings in effect, in particular warnings. Uh, then you get into a tornado watch. That's what all this yellow is right here. Not in our area, just to the west of us. There have been tornado warnings. In fact, there's a little teeny red dot right here in northern Pennsylvania, which is indicating one going on right now. But it looks like the air is going to be less stable near us. So when it comes our way, sure, we could find some thunderstorms around, especially in the western Adirondacks over toward the St. Lawrence River Valley a few hours from right now could find some gusty winds out there, but not expecting what's going on there to happen here. Meanwhile, once this system goes through, we're still in a showery pattern. Look at the rain showers. By the way, there was snow out there a while ago, but look at the rain showers off to the west. That's some of the stuff we're going to be dealing with uh, as we do step ahead. Uh, let's step out of the way here, show you what's going on uh, over Burlington. We've got a lot of clouds. It's not raining right now, but certainly it will be in a little while. 65 degrees in the city right now. We'll call it mostly cloudy. We've got an east-southeast wind at about 15 miles an hour. Temperatures around the region, well, it's colder in Jay, no big surprise. Derby at 52, 65 degrees Burlington, 62 Schuyler Falls, but again, 50s on off to the east where the warmer air just has not quite made it in. You really could see the difference, say, down to the south. Keen 52, 70 degrees right now in Bennington, 70 degrees Saranac Lake, but Messina is at 50. Let's time out what's going to happen. This is Futurecast. 7.30 tonight, most of us looking okay, but we've got showers and I do think some thunderstorms just getting into the St. Lawrence River Valley. We'll pop you up to 9.30 tonight. Northern New York looking at showers and I do think we'll have some thunderstorms in there. Perhaps some severe weather. Right now it looks like we're not expecting a whole lot of it and it's starting to rain in the Champlain Valley at about 930. Then this stuff is going to blow on through. So by midnight tonight, heaviest stuff east of the Champlain Valley, but central and then eastern Vermont looking at the action then. And then this stuff does leave. Here comes your tomorrow. Could be a little bit on the bright side first thing tomorrow morning and then scattered showers return, of course. And you know what? As we look ahead toward Wednesday, I think we will find some scattered showers around here yet again. What's new for tonight? Yep, some showers and yeah, we may find some thunderstorms as well. Some of those thunderstorms could be on the strong side. It's going to be mild, 56 degrees for a low tonight. And then for tomorrow, we're looking at mainly afternoon rain showers around. Temperatures getting into the 50s, 60s to near 70 degrees for some, especially down to the south. So five day forecast, we'll call it 64 in the Champlain Valley in the showers tomorrow. Some scattered showers the day after that on Wednesday. And I think the best chances for rain showers uh, holding off until Friday after that, but some afternoon clouds on Thursday. So Friday, we're looking at rain, some showers on your Saturday. Still the chance for showers second half of the weekend on Sunday. Not the greatest of weeks, I know. And then Monday, still a lot of clouds and still kind of showery. So guys, uh, need I say, this is not the greatest of weather patterns, you know?